Scary moments, Richard. Thank you. To the investigation now into the, the shooting suspect and why he opened fire inside the mall in the first place. Online theories are adding to the questions about the motive in the case. We get that part of our coverage from News 8's multicultural reporter, Kadir Winfrey. Well, we know the three victims shot and killed Sunday night were Latino. That has many in the Latino community wondering if this was a hate crime. But for police, the answer to the question of why may be online and inside a phone and laptop. Now, police say when the shooter exited the mall's restroom, he immediately shot the first victim. Right after, fired two more shots, hitting Pedro and Rosa Pineda, briefly letting off a few more rounds before the armed citizen engaged him. Now, at the time, police couldn't say if he specifically targeted the Latino community. But you'll find many others in the Latino community who think differently. And that speculation is gaining momentum as police investigate online posts that may later be attributed to the shooter. You've just seen them, but we blurt those images for now. Now, posts that include screenshots on a controversial website, 4chan, and other posts with Nazi imagery. Why does this happen to us? Why does this happen to Indiana? Why this is not called a hate crime? You know, this is a hate crime. People with all kinds of different um, interests and that will give them insight into what might have been this person's motivation, his ideology. Um, was it racial? Was it religious? Was it uh, homophobic? We just don't know. And Doug Coons is a former FBI agent and CEO of Veracity, a research and investigation firm in Carmel. While he isn't involved in the Greenwood case, Coons' company has experience with collecting intelligence through a digital means and says any data pulled from the shooter's damaged phone and laptop could help, could be vital. Now, I did reach out to the Greenwood police about the online post, and the chief tells me they are aware of the photos and are working with the FBI to identify the source of the pictures. He also told me that they do not have a timeline on when they might have answers. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.